Hey everyone, it's Kyle Wood here with Playa Sonora Realty. We are doing something new here today. I'm here with Jolene, our new agent in training. What we thought we'd do is uh, she's going to shoot me with questions about the industry. And uh, thank you for joining us and, and doing this today. Yes, no, thank you for inviting me for that. But I actually have that question. What made you become like a broker for an agent? What was the well, point? I was an agent, licensed agent in Arizona. And when I bought my condo down here uh, from about 2007, I was just so fascinated by the process. I thought it was a big learning experience for everybody involved, my wife and my brother-in-law, my sister. So I wanted to teach that to other people. Uh, I hooked up with uh, my mentor, John Witt, Rocky Point Premier Group now. At the time, it was Realty Executives. Got my licensing, and here I am today. Um, that comes to another question, family ball wise What made you decide to bring... Uh... Your kid Riley and your wife. Yeah, Riley's sitting, so Riley's sitting right here. Everybody knows Riley, I think. Hi. She's the cutest. Uh, right. Her name is Riley Parker Wood. Oh. And uh, we gave her those initials for Rocky Point, RP. <laughs> See, they went all in. So we went all, all in with Rocky Point. Anyways, uh, um, Stephanie always had, my wife always had a fascination with Mexico. At the time, I didn't. Okay. And uh, she has a condo now. Cabo, Cabo San Lucas. And so the first time I had actually gone to the interior of Mexico was with her. The thing was, it was too far to get to with a whole family. And uh, so we came, my sister said, well, why don't we go to Rocky Point? And this was about 2006, 2007. And uh, we've been down here ever since. What I really like about the job is the agents act as ambassadors to Puerto Penasco. But what is there to do? And uh, so we. The main they, question everybody asks. Yeah, what is, what is there to do? Why did you move down here? And it was lifestyle. The lifestyle is what, what drew us to, to come on down, and uh, we wanted a slower, slower way of life. Okay, yeah, I think I understand what you're saying because um, I've traveled a lot myself and I've seen to notice about people having a really um, strict routine where it's kind of like they don't put into fun and relaxing and present. They just have like. I have that perspective and like thinking that a lot of people live to work and here we work to live. Yeah, it is. It's not stress 24 7. Every time I go back up to Phoenix, I, I get stressed out because of all, all the traffic. But, <laughs> but, but in addition to that, it's a, um, it is a, a change in lifestyle, it's a change in culture. Uh, it's, it's a mindset change about how business is done. But more importantly, it's about what, what can you do with the family yeah. down here. You said it's life change. It is a big future for the kids. I think, um, speaking for my mom, who I didn't decide to live here, because I was only like... You're, you're, from, Ke you're from Canada, I'm from Canada right? Canada, yes. And so I was just born there. Practically when I was two, my mom brought me down here. And before two, I was in Vallarta. So Mexico was like just for me my whole life. And I didn't get the option, but I'm so glad that they made that decision because I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for Mexico. It's such a great, amazing place. It, People really do. The first time I met Jolene was at Capone's restaurant, which is right down the street from here. Yes, and uh, she speaks fluent Spanish. So I thought, well, here you have a blonde girl, blue eyes, and speaking fluent Spanish, and even the Mexican. Your future daughter. <laughs> Riley, Riley is, is uh, uh, taking Spanish lessons as well, aren't you? Yes, I am. Where? Uh, at Carlos. Uh, well, that's your tutor, yeah. and then you go to school here at SEMA. Yeah, she gets the whole pack then. <laughs> and and uh, Jolene went to SEMA. It's a really good experience for someone being raised here. I mean, I, I say thank you to my mom all the time. When we first moved down here, uh, we were splitting our time. I was splitting my time between here and, and Phoenix. Uh -huh. And when I was down here, my wife would drive by herself or my stepdaughter down to, to Mexico. But uh, yeah, so we've been down here since uh, 2007. Uh, I've been selling since uh, 2010, and uh, we bought our place here in the Mirador area in, uh, I think it was 2019, we bought it. Uh, no, it had been 2018. So, you know, uh, it took us a while to get used to not being on the beach. Oh, okay, yes. But the beach is 10 minutes walk from our house now. Yeah. yeah. We, we do, we, uh, we, you know, we still have our, our condos on the beach. The first time we bought at Las Palomas and we still use the, the resort. We will stay there on occasion. Most of the time we'll just go for the day and use the pool. Family uses it, uh, we'll, we'll allow friends to use it uh, to the extent that we can. 
Uh, but most of the time, we just go and, and use the the beach and the again. I, I love training and uh, yeah, I love good. education and, and educating my clients and educating new agents. So, thank you for coming on and yes, of course. Interviewing it's my me. pleasure. And honestly, I'm really happy to be interviewing you because I think your story is really um, nice to know, and uh, I thought it was interesting to have like other people know it and get a little bit closer to you and your your family and your um, fiasco experience so yeah well th well thank you that's that's what it's all about we want people to get to know us as human beings and uh and as guys thanks for absolutely everything for this video and then just this whole process that i've been um taught and educated by and i just really like this interview because at least now i know and you guys know a little bit more yeah. about kyle so well, thank you very much you got it right. you guys have a nice day you. bye